very thankful to get to be here this morning and to get to feel what I've already felt. God has, has blessed us so wonderfully. You know, I know we've got a lot of miles in front of us and it just makes it, you know, feel like you can just float home sometimes. And You know, we're so grateful to, to get to be here and to feel the love that we feel from all of you. And every time we come, you guys just spoil us and makes it hard to leave. You know, and I think that's the way that God works and the way that His children work. I mean, you know, you think of people on different different ends of the country that can come together and, and feel at home and, and feel family, you know, no matter where you go. And I truly believe that you know, we could go to any country in the world and find God's people and find Him there and get a blessing. You know, and I hope... I hope that you've come hungry this morning. And I hope that you've come seeking the Lord because that's what it takes. You know, it's it's right there. And it's always right there. And it just it takes you opening up and being willing and, and being faithful and believing that God will bless you. You'd rather pray for just a few minutes at a time. Maybe the Lord will use me and and preach a little bit. You know, I'm I'm just a vessel and, and sometimes I feel like, you know, we're just we're just a lantern and we're just hollow and and we're see through and you know what, if my Lord will just turn up the heat just a little bit, you know, and just let this world just see the light that, that is him. You know, I just truly feel like You know, we don't understand everything here in this world. We don't understand the big picture. We can't see, you know, more than just a few feet in front of me, it seems like. Uh, It's like, you know what, I like doing puzzles with my kids at home. And and, uh, it's like having maybe one or two pieces of a great big puzzle. You don't even know. uh, You don't even know what the puzzle is in the end. But you know what, oh, I've got my little piece that I can add to it. And if I'm just faithful here in this world, oh, why I don't understand. sickness and death. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Oh, I don't know why it seems like oh, there was so much persecution. Oh, I have God's people. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, why it seems like. Oh, why all the apostles and disciples oh, went through the things that they did. Oh, but you know what? Oh, why old Apostle Paul wrote one time. Oh, why faith is the substance of things hoped for. Oh, why is the evidence of things not seen. Oh, why Oh, I do report through faith. Oh, they were 
Oh, he got bolder there, and he kept on preaching. Oh, I look, oh, and he looked up, oh, and he saw my Lord. I'm standing at the right hand of the Father. I'm just standing there, and he said, Oh, I Stephen, uh, he closed his eyes, and he went to sleep to this world. Yeah. Yeah. And he just went to sleep, and you know, I think about that a lot. Do I have... I'm awfully weak in this world, you know. We stumble and we, and we do the best that we can. But do I have the faith that, it, that, that the Lord is looking for? Would I be able to withstand something like that? Uh, but you know what? I think that's when we rely on our brothers and sisters to strengthen us. We know that none of us are perfect and that we're all weak in this world. And that we all need something. You know, I remember my papa, he was he was the moderator of our little church when I was growing up. You know, and I would just be running around playing. And I, I remember, you know, when my mom, when I was just a kid, asked me who my favorite preacher was. You know, and I, I hardly even sat through church at all. And I just looked at her and I said, well, Papa was my favorite preacher. You know, there was something... These little children may think, you may think that they don't get anything out of this, you know, when they're real young, but teach them in the way that they should go. And they shall not depart. You know, we've got something worth fighting for today. There's something worth living for. I've got three little kids back at home. My oldest one is six, about to be seven. And I don't know if I'll ever see them again. I'm not guaranteed anything in this world here. Oh, but I'm just praying that the Lord will take care of at home, I just pray, oh, but maybe I've said and done enough in this world here, oh, you know what, oh, we can never do enough here, uh, there's always something else that we can do for my Lord, uh, because He's done everything for us, uh, don't ever stop short today, oh, my brother, oh, we've been praying an awful lot for you, brother, oh, well, you know what, oh, one what of these days, oh, well, we're going to be together again, oh, I He hasn't promised me a bed of roses or anything like that. I have, I have worries and I have troubles every day. You know, but I just try to read through the examples that we have here. Apostle Paul says it's like running a race. You know, and it's not that, it's not that you finish first in this race. It's just that you finish, period. Run the race the best that you can. Run it with patience, with understanding, and with love. And I love each and every one of you. I'm, I'm going to give way and let Brother Shad come. And I just hope, I just hope that you'll continue to pray for our little church and and for everyone that's up there. And we love visiting with each and every one of you.